now we would like to redo the hit me program just now using C sharp and let us observe how easy it is to do it using C sharp and not only that if you opt to make your project using C sharp there will be more support in the internet because most of the programmers who do Windows programming or GUI programming on Windows, they would be using C Sharp. Let us get started. File, New, Project. And I already have Windows Form App project here, C Sharp but let us redo all the steps again language is c sharp platform is windows then we should be able to find windows forms app .net framework in c sharp click it and then click next i would like to call this hit me cs for c sharp then save it in desktop create then as before we straight away get the form template but again it is a little bit too big let us resize it then let us rephrase the caption Hit the button then drag in a button and a label again the label we make it blank the text of the label is blank and the text of the button is hit me that is it and it is a good practice to always save and test or run your project during development so that you know that you are still on the right track. All right, we have it. Okay. Then, how do we create the event handler is the same way on the triggering widget which is the button we double click then you see this is the function that will serve as event handler so what do we do let us recall the name the name of this label again we didn't change the default name label one so it is level one and then now it is not arrow it is not arrow operator because if you put arrow operator here you get a red squiggly underline across the level one itself telling that this operator is not valid for this variable so it is not arrow operator it is dot operator so the short the short red squiggly underline here is telling us we need to type something but the dot operator is valid for level one so the dot operator there and then you can type the first t in text so you can easily go to text double click there then you assign with a new 
string because we want to fill it up with a string. Let's say you hit me, right? Save and then rerun. So now it should work. Okay, you can see the word hit me, you hit me, printed on the label. Okay, so now what if we do anything messy in this C sharp version? So let's say we double click on the form, on the caption of the form, we still get the unwanted or the event handler that was created unwittingly. So again, you can remove this one, remove it, save, and you can run or rebuild. You still get the error and then double click on the first error. You again will see the pointer to the form one load just now, the one that we just deleted. So the structure is a lot similar between C sharp and C++. So that is why uh, I really suggest that you go for it, use C sharp. So this one you need to delete also. Delete it, save it, run again. We get the original correct code. One more difference that you can see between C and between C sharp and C++ is that in C++ all codes are made in myform.h, not even .cpp. It is .h. It's header file. Either form1.h or myform.h. If you use the template given by the German professor you will be coding in form1.h. If you build the form manually without the template, you will be coding it in myform.h. But in C sharp, the form, this one, and the design mode of the form, these two are the same file, only the way we view differently. And the designer, the content of the form is written or auto-generated for you in separate file. This is form1.cs. This is also the same file, form1.cs, but this one is form1.designer.cs. So the organization is better in C sharp. So I think that is all for exercise on the introduction to GUI programming. Let us begin with the real project in the next tutorial.